guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a bedroom makeover. It is for my little sister. Um, she is a teenager now, so she is completely changing up her style. We're going for a more Western theme. She has horses, so she's really into that right now. Um, and currently her room is filled with a lot of beachy nautical themes. Her room is also a little bit cluttered, so we're going to be removing some furniture today. Um, we're getting rid of her headboard. It's very big. It's not exactly her style. Hey, I'm going to need you to stop. <laughs> so this is going to be a very budget-friendly makeover. We are not purchasing any new furniture, any new decor. We're actually going to be DIYing some things and removing some things from her room. Can you please stop? First thing we have to do is basically get all of the larger pieces of furniture that we're not keeping out of her room. Then we're gonna be organizing a lot just to kind of get rid of the clutter, make it feel a lot more open and airy in there. Okay, so let's go do that. Okay, so the first project we're going to be doing in her bedroom is her headboard. So we got rid of her actual bed frame with her headboard because it was just really bulky. It wasn't her style. Um, and instead, we're going to be keeping her bed and her box spring on the floor and giving her a painted headboard. Um, I, you've probably seen it all over Pinterest and it's just so cool. So, so we're going to be doing that and we're actually going to put a little twist on some of the things that you've seen on Pinterest. So instead of like the typical, you know, arch that you've seen painted on the walls, we're going to be doing an Aztec pattern that I found on Pinterest just to kind of go with that Western theme. And I think it's gonna be really cool. So here we go. Okay, so I found this pretty cool uh, Aztec pattern on Pinterest and I kind of, ooh, and I tried to recreate it. Um, and okay, so this is, this is a lot. I'm actually, I'm thinking I'm just going to stop it here and we're going to be doing this little pattern in each one. Um, but I kind of want to bring this one up so that's kind of like a, a triangle or a V shape. I don't know. We're, I think I'm, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to play around with it, um, and just draw it on her wall with pencil just right here. And then I think, I think we're going to like it. Okay. I'm going to start that right now. what the headboard is looking like so far we're just using a sponge technique as you can see and we're putting some white inside of the orange to make it look more rustic and then over here we did a large circle this is gonna be right in front or right behind her desk and then we're gonna put a shelf with some pictures and it's gonna be really cute
Okay, so for our second project, we're actually just going to be repurposing some of the beach art that she already had. I actually forgot to film it, but it was super easy, um, and I actually explained what I did when I did my detail shots, so I'm gonna roll that clip right now. These are our DIY project, these three guys right here. Um, she had this current artwork already, something similar to that, except it was beach themed, and obviously that's not what we were going for, so instead of going out and buying new artwork that was like probably 10 15 20 dollars each we just went to the craft store and picked up scrapbook paper and we glued them to the front of each piece each art piece and now you have a brand new set of art so it was super easy super simple i'm sorry i didn't film it but I mean, you guys get the idea, it was so easy. Okay, so our third project that we did was actually kind of a fail and I'm upset about it, but I still wanna show you guys what I did. That way you don't make the same mistake I did because it's very clear what I did wrong and I should have known that I was doing it wrong. So I'm gonna go upstairs and we're gonna talk about it because I did keep it in her space. It's a pillow um, and we're just going to use it as a filler until we get another pillow cover. Okay, so here is the failed DIY. This was a light pink pillow that we tried to dye orange as you can see it is still light pink basically what i did wrong is that i didn't i didn't get the correct fabric dye it says on the back of the bottle that if you have a specific material i can't remember which material but i think that's what this was that you need to get the other fabric dye that they have um it was like the writ fabric dye that you can get at michael's and i didn't because they didn't have it in stock and so i just grabbed the regular kind and i was like oh i'm just gonna double it maybe maybe that'll work what's the worst that can happen um the worst that can happen is that it just doesn't work. 